money. Let's talk money. I don't have your money. I know I'd be a lot happier with some extra cash. Is this about money? Obviously, this is all about money. Oh, man, we got bills to pay, buddy. (laughs) With practical tips and a focus on scripture, let's talk money. With Dave and Reb. From more than enough, real conversations about money for real people. Let's talk money. Are you ready to talk money, Reb? I'm ready to talk money. You've got a big smile on this morning. I uh, yeah. You must I be do. Full of joy. I'm just full of joy. <laughs> full of joy. <laughs> Can you guess that I just dropped a little hint on maybe one of the things we might be talking about today? But before we get there, just before, welcome to the show. This is the show where Dave and Reb talk about money. That's why it's called Let's Talk Money with Dave and Reb. You know where to get it. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on uh, the uh, any podcasting platform and of course you can get it on more than enough.ca chri.ca and notmine.ca and today we have our regular guest in ray borg with us in the studio and we've already been having some fun just <laughs> in prep for the show so it's uh welcome we're so glad that you joined now today's show we do have a sponsor uh steven francipili and the offices there they do Lots of, uh, lots of legal work and we work together on, on real estate, but I know they do commercial or sorry, they do, um, all kinds of will and they do, they do do some some commercial. commercial. Yeah. And it's friends of Pila Law. That's who's sponsoring. That's who's sponsoring. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. He's a lawyer. He's a friend. Okay. So Steven, (laughs) if you're watching this, I'm promoting (laughs) you, not your, your law practice, but there it is. Yes. Lovely family. Mm, Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so are you done? I'm done. Welcome I'm here, Ray. You, so. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So to be with can you. you tell us your latest title that we always get wrong? Like, oh, you, do you have a new day. position? Well, I did it. Yeah, a month or two ago. I guess <laughs> it is already. That's, your title a, that's is right. Now? It's director, donor, and community care. Oh mm-hmm. my goodness! I'm gonna have to write that yeah, one down yeah. mm-hmm. somewhere. Yeah, but director. still it's the same Ray, still the same That's right, experience, same things. And, yeah. uh, and we love having you on the show because, oh, thank you. Uh, well, there's all kinds of reasons, but it's it's just so much fun to because we all enjoy digging into the scripture and going, here, what does scripture say about money and possessions and how we inter- interact with the world around us in that world? And, and uh, so it's great to have you, Ray. So. Hmm. Good to be with you again. Okay, so these guys are giving me the gears, to be yes, honest, yes, because will. I've put enough content in my ideas for this show for like three shows. So mm. you never know where we're going to go. <clears throat> so hang on for the ride. <laughs> um, but I think I started with, are we just giving a message at More Than Enough or on the radio show? I, I don't think we are all the time, but that... Giving to God is like this sacrifice, like you have to give up stuff, and which is all true. Sometimes, like it's not about us, it's about the Lord and his plan. But are we doing it in a grumpy way? Are we just thinking, oh, life is all dreary and life is hard and there's just no joy in it? <clears throat> and you haven't found joy in following Christ. Mm. Uh, maybe COVID has sapped the whole thing right out of you, which is not uncommon these days. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. But then I thought, but Lord, you are joy. Like you are filled with, uh, I mean, you created 10 year old boys. (laughs) And if you can create a 10 year old boy and they're a little bit goofy, I have had two 10 year old boys in my house Mm -hmm. and I'm married to a 10 year old boy sometimes. (laughs) I'm like, okay, you have to have a sense of humor. Jesus has to have some fun, Mm -hmm. like in his bones to actually, you know, so I think if he's full of joy, why do I approach my life some days with utter, like, I just don't want to get, get through my day. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of despair and discouragement out there. And <clears throat> I've had to shift, like, I'm in a privileged enough space right now to know how to shift my mindset mm-hmm. in the Lord. So this is the kind of thing we're going to talk about today. But um, I was also thinking, you know, there's joy in giving. There's joy. There's joy in advancing the kingdom. There's joy in partnership with God. And then I thought, well, what is it to be? You know, we hear those parables that Jesus told. Like you find a pearl and you sell everything you have. You go buy that land where the pearl is because you just have to have that pearl. It's that's what the kingdom of heaven is like. 
You know, there's mm. many, like we seek it, we seek it, we sell all we have to seek it. And there's joy in the seeking and finding. And then I thought, well, <clears throat> what is the kingdom right. purpose? We often ask this question. So we're going to start there. We're going to, we wanted to, I want to talk about joy. I want to pray that God gives us a shift in this season um, a about walking with him and being joy filled, that it's not drudgery to be a Christian. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of negative things, but he is our joy. So we're going to talk about that because I. Did you just say there's a lot of negative things about being a Christian? Well, no, a lot okay. of negative. I ju- just thought I'd point okay. that out. Okay, okay. Right. That's that's it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there are some negative <laughs> perceptions about being there. a Christian. That is ex- that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I meant. People. Just- People are throwing negatives at us. So then that makes us like we like get suction cup to all that negativity. Well, and, and, and <clears throat> you know, um, there certainly can be. I mean, Jesus talks a lot about, you know, the, you we live in a world and we may have to sacrifice some things of this world, some things that might look appealing, some things that that uh, might have some. Um, kind of the look of, oh, I'd like to have that. And he says, we have to sacrifice some of that because there is real, real fulfillment, real joy, real, um, and don't, don't spend all your time chasing after things that really are like the wind. And, you know, again, we, we, we see those verses that talk about vapor and chasing after things of this world. And Jesus is saying, do you have a clear picture of me? And mm-hmm. what's in front of you, right? That's a really great comment. Having a clear picture. Mm-hmm. That, that's a really good. We want to have a clear picture. And clear pictures include understanding kingdom things. And also understanding that it's not all what the world says about Christians. But he says that, for the, that, that there is joy for us. Mm-hmm. Like for the joy he, uh, of what was set before him. He went to the cross for us. Like there was joy involved in that. And there's joy involved, and and <clears throat> particularly because we're a financial show, mm-hmm. about giving or about saying no to ourselves. There can be joy because we're a part of his plan for something that we don't even see the full picture of. Mm. So before we get all of there, all of there, that you have a verse. I had a verse just out of the Lord's Prayer. Right. Like that his kingdom would come his will be done you know our Mm -hmm. father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done and that's that's interesting because it it is in the matthew uh verses that precede what we often talk about that we can't love god and mammon at the same Mm -hmm. serve god and mammon so it's it's a precursor to those Mm -hmm. so your kingdom come so what would it look like i think we're going to talk about this and in and shows to come what does it look like for for his kingdom to come in our finances and his right. will to be done on earth in our finances as it is in heaven. So, but you have also a great, good verse in Ephesians. I'm like, you're at, just asked that kind of massively big <laughs> question, right? I, I think you should chime in on that no, question. No, no, we're, no, okay, no I'm, 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 we're not going. Okay. okay so well, you say yeah, that. Yeah. Well, we're going to get there today or next show with Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that question again? Because that that's what does it mean for God's kingdom to come in our finances? Mm-hmm. That's but a really we, good question. But we have to understand what kingdom purposes are. What is right. kingdom? And and we want to put some ideas, pra- practical things, mm-hmm. and understanding around it. But you also had some good verses that I want you to share. Yeah. So I was thinking about Ephesians two, and I won't read the whole thing, but Ephesians mm-hmm. two talks about that dynamic of. The things of this world. We were dead in our transgressions. That's pretty strong language mm-hmm. that, that that Paul's writing there, saying, you know, the things of this world, we were dead in those. Uh, but where I really, uh, it was verse four, where it says, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even though we were dead in our transgressions. And it is by grace you've been saved. And then God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly places. That speaks to the joy set before you, right? That speaks to that. In order that in the coming ages, he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us 
Again, in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you've been saved through faith, and it's not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. And again, verse 10 says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And I kind of, I don't want to change scripture, but I want to read it again with just one little twist. And it says, for we are God's handiwork recreated in Christ Mm -hmm. Jesus. I mean, Paul talks about that we were dead in sin, a few verses above that. And, and I just threw recreated because I feel like we need a recreation. We need a new perspective on how do we live in and as you said from from the verses Reb you're talking about, what does it look like for his kingdom to come here on earth in our finances? We need a recreation. We need a rebirth. Again, that's that you know, that is part of And the that's scripture. where the joy I mean, just that truth alone brings some joy. Like mm-hmm. that we were created, recreated in Christ. Mm-hmm. Like anyway, we could go all kinds of places. But let's Let's, why don't we have this discussion? Because, Ray, you've already told us some of the things you were thinking before the show about what is the kingdom purpose? Like, if we're asking God's kingdom to come, if we're encouraging listeners to uh, put their money, you know, where their mouth is, like, I believe in Christ. So, like, okay, if you do, then how are we partnering with him with our finances? What are some places, what does that look like? Well, you know, as I was thinking about it, uh, and as we were chatting about earlier, you know, um, even in this context of Ephesians 2, just about the kingdom coming into our lives, mm-hmm. those those aha moments where we have a revelation of who we are and perhaps how God wants to recreate some areas of our lives, the way we approach life. You know, as you talked about, we can have that negative half-empty glass, um, and or can we have a sense of, God, you want to do something in me. You want to change my perspective on some things. And, you know, I think part of the program is is giving a different perspective of finances. And so if those truths from his word and his heart come into settle in our heart, I think it shifts some mindsets and some beliefs sometimes that we believed. And those are liberating. I mean, those are so freeing, especially if, you know, we have fear, anxiety around some areas and God comes and sets us free. We all know immediately how freeing that is, like a weight has been lifted off. So even that sense of, you know, Lord, your kingdom coming in here into my heart affects my mind and begins to shift my understanding of what your kingdom looks like, even in the area of finances. Um, If we have that, even that revelation that, um, he's Lord of my finances. That whole, that mm-hmm. in itself changes our whole mindset mm-hmm. and perspective. And so then I think the other part for me is um, seeing then how we steward our lives in terms of uh, how we love our spouse, how we love our children, how we model things for them, uh, uh, and watching the kingdom come into their lives as they model and they get those aha moments. And even in the places where we are walking in our our, our jobs and, and our work, uh, when we share something that's uh, an eye-opener and suddenly the light bulb goes on for people, they've mm-hmm. got a whole new understanding of things too. To me, that's- Because we're see- sowing the seed that we're receiving into another person's yes, life. Yes, right. Yeah. Yes, which has a domino effect, right? Because right. it becomes revelation to them, it affects their family and those things. Uh, and then just to even the reality of sowing into kingdom, which we I think we talk more often about, is Maybe like finance, like finance is sowing. It, so you yes. have a, a heart towards I don't know Samaritan's Purse or Food for the Hungry Canada, and you're sowing into those places. No, that's right. That's and, right. And yeah. you see the kingdom advance because the gospel is going out through their ministry. Right. So right. for me, those are some of the purposes of the kingdom. Hmm. I, yeah, I, I was just thinking, oh my, um, there's, <laughs> you know, there's so many opportunities when we kind of take a step back and start putting our finger, oh, that's kingdom work and that's kingdom work and, and, and that's sowing into the kingdom and, and that happens on an every day, you know, between Reb and I, mm-hmm. right? That happens every day between Ray, you and I. Yeah. Uh, it happens every day between us and the community that we are in or, or serving. And then, you know, touching to, and it, and, and it happens in the things that touch our heart that, you know, I, I often say, 
you know, if you don't know where to give, then just wait until something touches your heart. To, to it's a heart thing, and then the the joy of giving becomes part of that kingdom expression because I'm giving from my heart, not necessarily from my head. I'm following what God has put in my heart to give. So, and that that turns into again an expression of kingdom work. But you know, I what I gravitate to, and maybe because that's where I am, I. I, in the work we do it more than enough, sometimes it can feel really heavy. Mm. So one of our coaches just in passing said, well, maybe you need to focus on the stories of transformation mm -hmm. instead of all the hard things like, like the fatigue or the weariness or not being able to catch up or, you know, and I, I just, I, I was arrested. Like, I, I know that stuff, like, you know it. And then you're like, Oh, I have just fallen down a really slippery path and I'm focused on, well, and, and when you're tired or in your fifties as a woman, it's, there's lots of things that happen, like without having to say, yes. spell it out for everybody. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's really, I know, okay, you're laughing and then being married to Dave is such a delight. <laughs> a 10 year old. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> anyway, so, but I'm like, whoa. So I got, this was, this was a kingdom purpose. I got a journal. I, I have a prayer book um, for people now. And I've been in, more intentional about praying and writing out prayers for people. But in the back of it, I now every day try and write at least two stories I know, big or small, that I've seen through more than enough that transformation has happened. And my heart is shifting. I'm like, oh, Again, Lord, this is a privilege to walk with you in this space. So it's mindset. And you mentioned that the first, it's in our minds that we're, sh the kingdom is coming into our minds. Jesus said the truth will set us free. Mm -hmm. It is for freedom's sake that he came. And we don't, we often talk, well, he came to forgive our sin and all of that, but he came to set us free from negative mindsets, from the mindset that the enemy holds over us, that f following Christ is drudgery or I'll never have enough or have we forgotten another financial coach I met this week from out west just said this and I shared it with you Dave you know we've forgotten that God is good he is good we don't we honestly we walk okay around. okay that's the royal we I think okay. we should just say I have, I've forgotten okay no, 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 well, I think yeah. the church is okay I'm just saying the royal we forgive me all of us but yeah. do we forget okay can I ask it like that as a coaching question have we forgotten, have we forgotten that God is good and she just, this lady just said to me you know God's not mean mm. and you know sometimes we read scripture and we just think oh he's just mean yeah. but if we don't read and understand through the lens of jesus mm. you know he's good and jesus came to reveal that goodness and joy even in the hard spaces you know i this recently was doing a seminar out west on marriage and money mm. so one of the things that really struck me and i said to the couples i said you know what you can turn on each other but I want to encourage you, if you have a sense of the goodness of Father, mm -hmm. Father is fathering you right now. And in that sense, can you experience the joy of discovery mm -hmm. wow. about yourself and learning about something new? Can you put it in that context rather than getting upset and worked up? Can you say this is a joy of discovery, who I am, who we are as a couple in the journey moving forward and the potential where you can go as you continue to enjoy the journey? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Can, and that that takes a mind shift. It does a big mind shift, I felt. Mm -hmm. be, so there's mind mindset shift, like bringing his kingdom just into our sh our shifting minds or we are of shifting minds. And he says, you aren't supposed to be like shifting. You're supposed to get, embed yourself in me. And, and, and then, and then the Bible says that we have the minds of Christ. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's in Corinthians somewhere, you know? Um, and, and that to me is one of the most profound things. Cause I'm like, I don't live like I have the mind of Christ. I don't believe well, in the verses we read in Ephesians, you know, talking about we were dead yes. and he has made us alive in Christ. And again, we all, but like, it's because of his great love for us going back to god is not you know he's a good god and and we forget that sometimes <laughs> but because of his great we were dead 
and he transforms us to life. Like there's the shift. And, and sometimes it is that dramatic, right? And, mm-hmm. I like, I, we have a few minutes left in the show. So what do we leave listeners with? I feel like I'm like, okay, we've got all these thoughts, you know, and we've got, we've got the kingdom thoughts. We're bringing oh, his kingdom yeah. thinking into our lives. We're going to, we are going to dig into this with you, Ray, in the next two months, because there's some really important things that we're talking about. You know, one is, you know, joy. Mm-hmm. One is understanding that we're being fathered mm-hmm. and, and understanding that our financial journeys can be journeys of discovery. Like, that's amazing. But we don't often come at it that way. And there's grace in that, right? Like yes, in that right. thought to say, you know, if, if we're on a journey of discovery, you know, so many times we think we have to have it right the first time. Like we, ha- we have to have it all figured out. And well, if you've listened to the podcast and you've heard us talk, you realize that, well, we haven't gone, but we, we are on the journey of discovery and we give each other and ourselves grace to just go, well, got that one wrong, uh, tried it, didn't work, right? You know, And maybe laugh at ourselves at their <laughs> well, of course, right? stupidity sometimes. <laughs> you know, what would it be to laugh at ourselves instead of automatically go into the shame spiral? But, but it is right. hard because oh. we're talking about money here, yeah, right? Yes. You make a mistake with money and you think, wow, I've divested. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. you know, that that's may impact the future of my family. I mean, Reb, we shared this story on, on the podcast before yeah. about buying the, the the wood boiler and how that was a disaster and it wasn't in the end but it, you know the there was moment. you know again it was money yeah, loss yeah. it was it was a whole bunch of stress and all of that and and i don't even know what podcast we talked about but the story was but we did in the end and you and the kids specifically for me were amazing to go okay dad like it's okay. We will survive. You know, we're, we're, you shame yeah. spiraled like I'd never ever like mm-hmm. for a strong Dutch guy. You were, had gone there, and I basically we just gathered around you mm-hmm. and said, "We're in this with you. This isn't on you." And now we're gonna like you always tell us as a coach, we're forward looking. The mistakes mm-hmm. in the past, let's good look forward. And how are we gonna deal with this? Mm-hmm. And we, you start by going to the Lord. Sure. So yeah. I guess if. If we're leaving anybody yeah. with anything today, Ray, what would what is that? that? Well, I mean, it is. I think going back to the Lord with whatever it is. Mm-hmm. If we lost the joy, mm-hmm. I think that'd be good. To say, Father, where have I lost the joy in this? Yeah, where's my focus? Like we yeah. mentioned that earlier. You know, where is the focus? Am I focused on all the the mistakes, or am I focused on how? Um, you know, these decisions are maybe negatively impacting the world around me, whether it's family or me, and going, wait a minute, let me change my perspective. Yeah. 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 My focus. And yeah. forgive yourself and yes. say, Lord, I want to be teachable and I'm going to move on. Mm-hmm. And like you said, if this is not in your nature to do that, like, we are going to stumble oh, and fall. Hard, yeah. And this is challenging. And you might you might be a person kind of like, oh, I'm reading The Silver Chair to Serena, and there's a character named Puddle Glum, and he comes <laughs> off as a very, like, grumpy, grumpy. Negative. 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 Yeah. yeah, he is. and it, But at the same time, um, that's who he is, and he is – key to the journey for these children of bringing truth so one of the things i'm going to take a little diversion i love about puddle gum is he just he keeps going in the right direction <laughs> he does he does it grumpily he does oh, he's okay. like yeah, oh, yes. yeah. yeah get up this morning it's raining again right but he you know? sees but- himself as a really joyful character mm-hmm. also so if you haven't read it go read the silver chair with your family it's very it's very lovely but but saying that like you said, let's go to the Lord. Let's ask him for joy mm. and whatever joy looks like for you. Mm-hmm. But and sh- for the shifting mindset that his kingdom would come to our mindsets, mm. to our uh, to that shift that his kingdom would come. So as we ask the question that we're going to talk about more because it's a great question. How do his how does how does his kingdom come in our financial journeys. And I think it starts here with our minds and mm-hmm. and having some joy, asking God, you know, the joy of the Lord is mm-hmm. our strength. But I want to leave, I wrote down because I write, obviously you guys know I write, mm-hmm. but I wrote what basically Ray has left us with today. Our finances are a journey of discovery because we are being fathered by a loving God. He, uh, He's loving. And if we can have that shift, 
that this is a journey of discovery. Mm-hmm. Our finances are a journey of discovery and not drudgery. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just thinking of connecting to the, the verse that verse 10 in Ephesians 2, you know, just settling on that we are God's handiwork. I know. Like, mm-hmm. like I didn't get there's yeah. that alone is going, wait a minute. If we have the, the, just let that settle on your spirit that you are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, right? Like you have been created by God. Uh, and, and anyways, I just letting that yeah. settle in and then connecting to Philippians four and saying, whatever is good, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is true, think on these things. And really we're, we're describing attributes of God, right? <laughs> we're describing attributes of Christ and saying, well, if, if we can, again, as we just pull our, uh, 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 our spirit sometimes kicking and screaming <laughs> into just those two thoughts, right? Mm-hmm. I'm God's handiwork. Wow. And uh, I can, I can start thinking about the attributes that are, that are God that are, that he clearly displays and go, wow, I, that changes the focus and the, and the perspective. I feel like this is a show we need to re-listen to and take notes on ourselves. <laughs> yes, just so that's you know. right. There's like, so many. Oh, yeah. Okay, how can I apply <laughs> this to my own yeah, life? I don't, yeah. I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, I think the next couple of shows, we're going to dig into more of your other points about the kingdom, about how mm. that plays out in our families and churches and transforms. Mm. And and what is it to sow into the kingdom? And, and we'll dig into more. What does it look like for our finances uh, to be... Uh, surrendered to his kingdom purpose. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, a couple of things. We have a couple of minutes left, oh. which is which is I fine. Kept, I kept th- like thinking that we were like winding down. Well, we, a couple okay. minutes. Okay. Left. I right. thought the same thing. So I, I thought, oh. okay, all right. Oh, we have two minutes. <laughs> okay. Will just said two minutes. Will's, Will's given us the two <laughs> minutes here. So, Ray, you get a minute. Uh, <laughs> what Rebs just said, and and kind of bring that back home and bring that home to what can we just. Uh, you know, maybe there's some tool or something that we that you've had that that has when you're feeling discouraged. How do we bring ourselves back to that that focus? I think the first thing is always saying, "Father, did I miss it someplace? Mm-hmm. Help me to just turn my eyes back to you." Mm-hmm. Um, and that's and I think the other part is actually just acknowledging it and then pull myself short and say, "I'm not going down that mm-hmm. <clears throat> that." street or that hole mm-hmm. right. so and i'm not going to dwell there i think i'm trying to catch myself more and more around those kinds of things mm-hmm. but that is mind work and that it is, is not work. always it is. easy yes and, and so i would add take this verse take ephesians 2 verse 10 and say you know when because i i know beth moore that has i mean i really enjoy beth moore you guys know that yeah but uh, she will always it's scripture that is Mm. That has set her free. It's like you spiral, you ha- get some verses, get God, ask the Lord for the verse for you. Like to how to yourself. how to, to remind myself that you are a loving father, that I don't have to, you know, guilt myself over a financial decision and that you're going to help me move forward. That it this is a journey of discovery. Okay, so there it is. We'll we'll end on that little uh practical step. Take some time in the next take a little bit of time and find some verses that you can write in a particular place that say when i when i need a new perspective i know where to go to find the truth mm-hmm. of the scripture verses that talk about like ephesians 2:10 uh, for we are created as god's hand we're created in christ jesus to do good work we're at now at the end of the show. <laughs> I want to thank Stephen, Francis Peely, Allah, and their mm-hmm. crew. Uh, if you do need some legal, please give them a call and uh, join us next time when we talk money. Let's Talk Money is a division of More Than Enough Financial Fitness, where God is transforming hearts and bringing hope for today and freedom for tomorrow. For more information or to comment on today's show, please visit morethanenough.ca.